Hello, this is a video abstract of my paper titled A Combinatorial Partition of Mersenne Numbers Arising from Spectroscopy, which is being published in the Journal of Number Theory. In this paper, I show that a Mersenne number of the form 2 to the n minus 1, where uh, this is a generic variant of Mersenne primes that are uh, very prominent in number theory, that they can be partitioned in, as a combinatorial sum of a function that has as its arguments both the exponent and the summing index. Um, this is a little bit more unusual than most uh, combinatorial identities in that it doesn't come directly from internal or internally from mathematics and its origin is in natural science, and in this case, uh, in particular, transmission spectroscopy. So let me explain that just a little bit. If you have incident radiation going through an absorbing medium, the amount that gets transmitted uh, depends on the energy of the incident radiation and also on the energy at which the absorber absorbs radiation. If those two are far apart, then almost all the radiation gets transmitted if they are close together, then the radiation coming through gets attenuated quite a bit. It results in giving you a, a, a spectrum that has a spectral line with a Lorentzian line shape that's just a decaying exponential. The uh, line has pr uh, three parameters, a line shape parameter gamma, a concentration uh, parameter t, and an energy parameter E0 that indicates the energy at which the transmission is a minimum. If you have two lines and they have the same uh, line shape parameter, the same concentration parameter, but they differ in the position of the energy where the transmission is a minimum, then you can have a, a spectrum that's uh, an independent transmission uh, independent absorber transmission, if the ratio of the difference in the minimum uh, with respect to the line shape is much, much greater than one. If, they, if that ratio starts getting closer to one, where they're the same order of magnitude, then the two spectral lines uh, start diverging, and you can see a difference which I shaded here in red. The real transmission is the blue line, the independent absorber transmission is the black line. Um, now, I've shaded this in red in particular because this area difference is what gives rise to the uh, partition that we see that is being discussed in this paper. We move from the world of physics into mathematics by making dimensionless proxies for the variables. Uh, for that area difference variable, I use a proxy of dimensionless proxy Z. For the energy, I use a dimensionless, dimensionless uh, proxy uh, X. And using those, I can have an alternative expression for that uh, area shaded area, z is equal to the integral of a dimensionless integrand over a dimensionless parameter. Now that z can be calculated in two different ways uh, using two different forms of the integrand. One is a closed form uh, that's just a function, uh, an exponential type function squared and the other way is where you expand out that exponential as an infinite power series and square it. Um, if you uh, calculate the uh, integral both ways, the first way, just using ordinary calculus, gives you an uh, infinite power series from 1 to infinity of the Mersenne factor times a factor Q, which just is an ordinary combinatorial type of term involving N and T. If you do it the second way, uh, it's a little more complicated because you have to use contour integration over the upper half 
of the complex plane around the simple pole at x equals i, and it gives you a result that has a very similar structure. It is a infinite sum from 1 to infinity, uh, but one factor is a finite term itself over a function that I call beta, and also a uh, factor, a common factor q that appeared in the first uh, way of deriving it. Now, since these two are equal to each other, and they are both infinite sums of a uh, power series summation, um, the, they have to be equal term by term. So we can divide out the common factor Q and look at just one term, uh, a generic term N, and we come to the uh, conclusion that 2 to the N minus 1 is equal to the sum over beta. Now beta itself has a very complicated structure that came from out of the contour integration. It's a five-fold in nested summation over five indices uh, of a product that involves six binomial coefficients in the numerator and one in the denominator. So it's very complicated. And if n gets to be very large, um, the uh, values, uh, it becomes intractable trying to calculate them, but the first few lowest values can be calculated by hand, and I have them displayed here. Um, they seem to fit a pattern uh, that is consistent with a much simpler function that has only one uh, internal summation uh, factor, which I call psi. You see it has just one instead of five nested ones. And I have shown using a supercomputer that this is consistent all the way up to n equals 508. Of course, that doesn't mean that it's also true for 509 or 509 million for that matter. So uh, I want to be able to say that it is true for symbolic n and, or any n, uh, no matter what the magnitude. Um, so the primary task of this paper then is to prove that the complicated function beta uh, is equivalent to uh, the this, this simplified function psi uh, for all n or, or just for symbolic n. To do this I constructed a hierarchical system of nine lemmas, established the validity for all nine, and then uh, piece them together to form a complete proof uh, that beta was um, indeed equivalent to psi for uh, all n. Um, and then with that proof I can sum each one of those uh, expressions over from r equals 1 to n and equate them. Uh, and from Evaluating that Z1 and Z2, I know that uh, the Mersenne uh, structure is equal to the sum over beta, and then with this uh, sum over beta being equal to sum over I using the lemmas, uh, I can use transitivity and conclude that the Mersenne number is equal to the sum over psi. The final conclusion then is that the Mersenne number partition is valid for all n, or all symbolic n, and that it has this structure, 2 to the n minus 1 is equal to the simplified uh, combinatorial expression that has only one internal summatory function. Um, as a footnote, let me just say that any other number structure that contains a similar factor uh, of 2 to the n minus 1 can be partitioned in the same way. Um, uh, an obvious example is even perfect numbers which have a factor of 2 to the p minus 1, except that these uh, require that the exponent be prime, but otherwise it's very similar to what's uh, proven in this paper. So that's the summary of what I have in this paper, and thank you very much for watching.